Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. Jason here, sorry it's been a little while since I've posted a video. I'll try and make this uh, pretty quick. Thank you to all of our patrons, all of our supporters. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to check the links down below for links to today's book and anything else that we might find applicable. I need to have some traffic through that Amazon thing that you guys suggest in order for it to keep going. Otherwise, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into today's video. So today's video, I wanna talk about book two in the series that I started talking about a little while back. Mike Resnick, an amazing, amazing, amazing science fiction author with, with this incredible galaxy that he built out that spans this enormous length of time, basically from the, the rise to the fall of humanity, millions of years. And uh, the Starship series, it's a five, five book? Yeah, it's a five book series, absolutely fantastic. Really wish Mr. Resnick was still around to uh, to keep writing because he wrote some fantastic things. I'm gonna have to go through all the videos and see which ones of his, which of his books I have not talked about yet, so that I can talk about those. But I do want to finish out with this series. So I talked about Starship Mutiny before, and how Wilson Cole and the crew of the Teddy R broke him out of jail, and they fled to the inner frontier. And Cole's Cole's plan at this point, things changed through this series, which you could tell just by the titles of the various individual books. Things changed through this series, but his plan at the at the end of book one, as they're uh, after the mutiny and as they're they're basically stealing the Teddy R and, and fleeing to to um, the inner frontier, is he is a he is a tactical genius in a lot of ways, and he's he's a, an absolute legend within the Republic, and he just wants to the whole crew is basically giving up their lives to and futures and careers and all that for him. So he has a lot of loyalty towards the crew, a lot of loyalty towards the ship. And his intent is not to fight the Republic. He can't fight the Republic. His intent is just to escape. The only place he can escape to and still have any semblance of a life would be the inner frontier. They can't just head out into deep space and live off the ship forever. They're gonna need supplies, fuel, money, entertainment, food, stuff like that. So the inner frontier, which is basically the wild, wild west of the galaxy. And that's where all the characters are currently in in uh, Resnick's universe at this particular time frame. His universe is pretty amazing with some of the characters, but right now they're pretty much confined to the inner frontier. And the inner frontier is non-governed. It's a lawless area. Of course, the Republic does make forays into it. The Republic is pretty tyrannical, which we've discovered. But again, Cole is not looking to, to try and, and fight the Republic. He knows he can't. He's got one century out of date ship. They have millions of ships. He just wants to flee to the inner frontier where the Republic really does not go and does not have much of a presence because they're involved in a war. And he just wants to live the best life he can, take care of his people, hopefully carve out some kind of future for them in the inner frontier. So trying to figure out what it is he's going to do, he decides there's really not a whole lot he can do. He's got one of the most advanced ships, despite being a century out of date, in the inner frontier, one of the strongest combat ships in the, in the inner frontier, and he has one of the best crews anywhere. So he decides, well, what can they do? They can be pirates. They're a ship. Why not? That's the best thing he can come up with at the time. So he decides that they are that, that the Teddy R needs to be pirates. But of course, there has to be some rules to this. They 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 almost want to come across more like privateers, except you know, non-governmental privateers. But they, there's there's rules because again, this whole crew they they are a military crew. They they still follow military decorum for the most part. Military laws. They all have their own moral moral compasses. So he's trying to figure out how they could be pirates, what their targets might be, how they're going to take their targets. I mean, yeah, you might you might say, okay, this is going to be a target because they can afford the losses, you know, big corporate ships or something. They can afford the losses. Yeah, but what about what, you know, do you want to have to kill any of them? And, you know, then things get, get kind of murky. So he's trying to bumble his way through, and while he's doing that, he ends up meeting a few characters. One of the characters he meets is Val, the Valkyrie. He gives her that name. She seems to change names about as often as I change socks, but she is a pirate. She's basically a pirate queen in the Inner Frontier, a legendary pirate queen, a, a feared pirate queen, and probably the most dangerous hand-to-hand -hand combatant that's likely going to show up in this entire series. Off the top of my head, I can't think of one that, that, uh, that topped her. And if, you've, if you're familiar with Resnick's work, you know what kind of character I'm talking about, because there always seems to be a character like this. Now, Oftentimes, they end up running into a character even stronger, but 
In this particular case, Val is pretty, pretty top tier. Now, this wouldn't be a Resnick book if there weren't multiple characters. So then we come across, we also get introduced to an alien fence. He's one of the, there's you know two or three top fences in, in the Inner Frontier that deal with stolen goods, especially things that pirates might, might steal. And his name is David Copperfield. Again, he's an alien. He just happens to have a thing for David Copperfield and books, especially those particular books. And Cole comes across this person. He also, I believe he comes across the Platinum Duke in this book. If not, it'll be in the next book. Platinum Duke is a pretty interesting character as well. So Cole trying to figure out how to be a pirate. They managed to steal a few things, and now they just need to figure out what they're going to do, how they're going to sell these things back. And unfortunately, once he starts exploring things with the fences, he realizes that the, the percentage return is going to be really, really, really tiny. Really tiny. So... He tries to come up with an alternate theory, an alternate way of fencing the goods for more money. And he does come up with a way, and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, he's not the first person to ever think of this, so it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. And that kind of leads things down into roads that he really doesn't want to have to go down um, and things that don't always end very well. That's one thing you'll discover with this series, with the Starship series, is that Cole may be a tactical genius when it comes to combat, space combat, ship-to-ship -ship combat, even large-scale multi-ship level combat, but when it comes to other things, he is smart. He's able to draw deductions and conclusions pretty quick, but it's not his area of expertise, and he does make quite a few mistakes, but overall, this book is is this book is an awesome setup for the next book, just like the first book was an awesome setup for this book, and they're all self-contained with, with with a general plot line. But Starship Pirate, it's very much the Teddy are kind of drifting aimlessly and lost while they are trying to figure out who they are and what they want to be and who they want to be. And overall, like I said before, pretty fun. Pretty fun, pretty interesting. And you guys should check them out. Mike Resnick is an incredible author. If you're a science fiction fan, you have got to read Mike Resnick's books. Read them. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We will catch you next time. Bye now.